Okay, today is, hello everybody, today is May 17th, I think 16 or 17 after Mother's Day, today's uh, Wednesday, and it's about 10.30 a.m. This project and setup experiment, I'm using a ZVS converter with an inner coil of 2.6 Micro micro Henry's. I'm having a problem with it. That's the inner coil, and I've got one half of this outer coil, which is I'm trying to do this right here. Copper tubing. These are about four micro Henry each, but I'm only using a half of it. Also, I'm going to use the frequency counter and a ammeter to check the amperage at 12 volts and 24 volts. And this will be the scope readout. I just have the, the probe at uh, regular settings here on 0.2 volts per division just to read the frequency and what it looks like the sine wave. So here I go. I'm going to go. Here is a 60 watt lamp also. First I'm going to fire it up with uh, 12 volts. And the lamp hardly gets lit, and that's what we have for a wave. I'm going to touch it again, let it go, touch it again, let it go. So I'm just firing this half. This half is not connected to that inner coil. It's a 2.6 micro Henry solid strand. This is a copper tubing here. Now if I go 24, we get a lamp, and it doubles the amplitude on there. That's the sine wave we're getting. We're running at 4 amps, 24, 24 volt DC. At 12 volts, that's yeah, about half. And the frequency we get is about 37 kilohertz. Yes, 37 kilohertz and 12 volts, it's 24 volts is the same frequency, 37 kilohertz. So this experiment will not work when I go all the way across with a ZVS inverter here. It will not do it, it just likes half of it and this really gets hot, these leads here coming off of here. So I have a ferrite rod also inside here. If I adjust it, you see what happens. We lose the lamp. But there is ferrite in there. The amplitude will go up or down there too also. See when I change it. So here's what we have. Is uh, It's about half lit. It's not very efficient of a circuit. The only thing that gets hot. Ooh, these get real hot going out. So it's probably not at a resonant frequency. Now later I'm going to put a microfarad cap capacitor across there and see if I can find a resonance at the right value. And that's it for right now. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> 